This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and yay, we get away from our usual demo table because we're doing the NVIDIA Shield tablet and the NVIDIA Shield wireless controller. The wireless controller here is a very well-built item. It should be. It's $59.99. It's wireless. It uses Wi-Fi Direct. This is not a Bluetooth controller. If you take a look at it, you can see right here we have the usual twin joysticks going on. We have the D-pad. We have the X, Y, B, you know, the usual buttons that you'd see on Xbox-style controller. Two shoulder buttons on the back right here. For charging it, it's got a micro USB connection. You can just yield, use the Shield tablet charger to charge this up. Or you can charge it using your PC as well. Also has a built-in microphone, so you can use this if you're doing Twitch TV style, you know, game recording, that sort of thing. And you can use it for Google Voice commands as well. And but wait, there's more. Volume controls down here, and this is actually a virtual kind of mouse pad area right there. It moves the cursor around. Now our tablet is connected via mini HDMI to HDMI to the big screen TV right here. It's a 1080p TV, and the tablet is in console mode. So instead of doing mirroring, you can have the actual display on this tablet be turned off, or you can have it in console mode where it just displays on the big screen right here. That's what we're doing, and we're going to show you a bunch of games in console mode. We're going to test out game streaming. I'm going to show you grid on the big screen as well, and even a little bit of Android gaming on the TV. We're going to look at it now. And one thing to keep in mind, this is not the full review of the NVIDIA Shield tablet. We have that review available separately as well on our YouTube channel and, of course, on Mobile Tech Review. So be sure to look at that first so you can learn everything about the tablet. So we've got our Shield connected via HDMI cable to our big screen TV. We're using the Shield wireless controller right here. And you can see on screen, this is the NVIDIA Hub app. This is the same thing you can actually see on the screen of the tablet if you're not plugged in via HDMI. And you've got access to... Your PC games right here, your media apps, which are, your media apps are installed, Android ones on there. We've also got our Android games, some show up, some don't, and news, and of course shopping for more games if you want. So we're going to take a look at my PC games right here, next. So now we're going to look at game streaming. Right here on the screen you can see we have a selection of games, and these are all the games I've added to my NVIDIA streaming control panel on my gaming PC, which is again, and another room of the house downstairs, kind of far away, but they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and that's how I can do this. We're running in console mode right now, so the tablet screen is off. There it is sitting there. It's connected via mini HDMI to HDMI cable to the TV itself. So that's how we're doing all this. And you can see the games that I've added here. And I think we're going to take a look at Tomb Raider. Now this is the way to game on your tablet, right? So I'm sitting here in my comfy gaming chair. Usually I would use this to play on my PS3 or my PS4, but today we're going to use the NVIDIA Shield tablet and the NVIDIA Shield wireless controller that I just showed you. And we're going to test out Steam and NVIDIA game streaming. And we're going to use Steam game Tomb Raider. We're going to check it out now. All right, so poor Laura is probably going to run into some wolves here, and we're looking for stuff to upgrade our axe. So we have the game set to 1080p on our gaming PC, and most of the effects are set to high, and we've got our, well, 1080p TV here, big screen TV. And I'm using the NVIDIA wireless controller. All right, let's see if we can get some light on the subject. So the controls are working perfectly here, and let's see. See if we can avoid the wolves for a while and just find what we need. We'll use our peekaboo feature. Ah, darn it, there's a wolf. Never said I was good with a bone arrow. Let's just run away from the buggers right now. So the controls here are working absolutely perfectly, and this looks really nice on the big screen TV. Obviously, you can just do this right on the tablet screen itself. You don't have to use a TV and console mode, but this is what's called console mode. It turns off the screen on the tablet and just shows you the big picture here on the TV. You can also do mirror mode if you want. Sorry, Wolfie. So that's Tomb Raider 2013 game running at full 1080p with pretty high settings using game streaming on the NVIDIA Shield. It works really good. You see an occasional little stutter like that. So far, happily, it never has happened when I have been fighting or doing anything important. And the PC is on a different floor of the house. 
and both running off the same 2.5 gigahertz Wi-Fi 802.11 network we're using Apple Airport Extreme. Now we're in the NVIDIA Grid application. This is NVIDIA's cloud gaming service, and now what they call their grid servers. Their servers are in San Jose, and basically the servers are doing all the computational work, and basically it's streaming down to our tablets. So our tablets are like a thin client. You're using the display, you're using the controller, you're using the audio, and that's it. So the tablet's not doing any heavy lifting. It doesn't even get hot when we do this. And I know I showed you a little bit of Saints Row on the tablet screen itself, but just so you can see how it works in console mode on the big screen, we're going to check it out here now, too. So these are the games that are available. You can see you got Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Darksiders 2, Overlords 2, Saints Row the Third, which is where we're going to play. We've got The Witcher 2 here, really cool game. Shrine 2, which you already have as an Android game anyway on this as a port. Super Street Fighter, Red Faction... So these are the games that are available to you right now. And again, this is all free of charge. NVIDIA calls this a beta service. I don't, th I don't think that they're going to take any of this away for Shield customers for the foreseeable future. So this is going to be available to you. I think eventually what they want to do is build out a whole cloud gaming experience with virtual GPUs and CPUs and all that sort of thing. So that's the purpose of this. And this is the showcase for doing that. So you can actually get into the settings just like you would if you were playing on your PC, and here's the settings that we are using, virtually speaking. And those of you who have played this on the PC will say, well, this looks familiar, because it should. And I'm using the wireless controller to do this. The tablet's sitting next to the TV, about eight feet away. And here we are in a new part of town. So this primarily relies on the quality of the connection we have to NVIDIA's gaming servers. And I'm feeling a little GTA here, hijacking a car. And here I am, driving for the first time in Saints Row 3 pretty badly. Don't you dare make any woman driver jokes out there. Anyway, this is all pretty cool, and it doesn't cost me a dime. It comes free with the shield, this here, Grid Gaming. Saints Row 3 is the first time I've ever played it. Enjoying it so far? Can't beat the price. So now we're looking at Half-Life 2. Again, we saw this on the small screen, but now we're running it in console mode on the big TV. So we're playing basically what is it? Hey, An Android game. And gorgeous graphics, right? Looking very good. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you think about this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Always nice to have a crowbar. So it's playing perfectly. Again, we're using the Shield wireless controller with this, which uses Wi Fi Direct, and uh, I suspect I'm gonna be attacking this door. Alright, we've just used our nifty crowbar. So good performance here. The controller is very responsive. No lag whatsoever. The Wi-Fi Direct does the job nicely. So that's Half-Life 2 made just for the NVIDIA K1 CPU with the Kepler graphics. Looking pretty darn amazing. So for a tablet, wow, nice. So controller games with game streaming, well, that's just great, right? But what about something like Mass Effect 3? You can see we got that right there. It doesn't have a pretty little cover on it, but nonetheless, we're going to test it out. And you need a mouse and keyboard for that. So we have a ThinkPad Bluetooth wireless mouse right here and a USB cab cabled keyboard right here that we're going to connect using a USB host adapter cable so we can actually play Mass Effect 3, and that's what's coming up next. All right, so we're in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer here. This is an origin game. The graphics are not so fantastic compared to your average Steam game or the list of approved games, but it is, well, it's working. 
which is pretty cool. And given the fact that this is multiplayer and pretty fast-paced action, that's impressive. A little frame glitch there. So there you have it, an origin game, not technically on the approved list of games, but indeed it does work, and I am using a USB keyboard and a Bluetooth portable mouse here to play. So when you're in console mode, you can also, lo and behold, actually do neat things like use the YouTube application and other media applications. So we're going to, well, start watching our NVIDIA Shield review. Now do we skip the commercial? Oh, it looks pretty good. Sounds pretty good. And there's our tablet in action. Be sure to watch that review, by the way. So, there you have it. You can do media applications on this as well, right out to your big screen TV. And I'm controlling it again with the Shield wireless controller.